in today's video. Hmm. By any chance, Dark Lord of the Sith, Sauron isn't? Someone spanked by my lightsaber will be. I wouldn't call him that. More like tyrannical dictator. I got drunk as a butterbeer-soaked elf at the hopping bar. When 900 years you reach, look as good. You will not. The Clone Wars exhausts me, and the mysterious Sith Lord's identity remains unknown. Hmm. Meditate on this. I will. Hmm. Where am I? Usually a lot more colors during the meditation, I see. Hmm. But a nice big white void it is. Perfect for contemplating the Sith mystery. Just me, my thoughts, and... Giant Tortoise. Master Frog, greetings. Could you tell me where are we? Excuse me, do we know each other? Come on, Master Frog. We are a long time friends. But seriously, where are we? This place could use a tea shop. Oh, good morning, you two. Who are you, if I may ask? Are you spirits? Is this a spirit world? I must admit, I expected it to be more colorful. Hmm, no. I've been in the spirit realm a lot of times, and this isn't it. Any ideas where we are, Master Frog? Can you stop it? A frog, I am not. Well, you certainly look like a frog to me. But I must admit, I have never seen a talking frog before. Ha, and what about talking tortoise? Well, I have actually never seen a tortoise or a turtle. To be honest, I have seen turtle duck, turtle seal, sketches of the lion turtle, but no turtle or tortoise, let alone a talking one. Great, but not the frog I am. My race is called. What in the name of Iru is this accursed place? You there, who are you? Are you the minions of Morgoth? Morgoth? Hmm, that sounds like the sound my belly makes when I'm hungry. <laughs> And speaking of food, do you have any noodles, guys? I'm starving. Hmm, my dear little green companion. Pray tell, what race do you belong to? You bear a resemblance to a curious blend of orc and hobbit. Excuse me, who are you calling an orc? You, apparently. <laughs> Confess, who led me to this bewildering place? Calm down, good man, please. We are as confused as you are. Honestly, I thought the purgatory would resemble the King's Cross Station a bit more, but whatever. Oh, hello, mates. Any of you chaps know where I find myself? I would fain elucidate, but even my own knowledge falters in this perplexing enigma. This chattering leads nowhere. Master Frog is right. Telling you for the last time, not a frog I am. From a race called... Nobody gives a toss, mate. Could someone direct me to the exit? My favorite team is playing Quidditch today, and I can't afford to miss it. Okay, so apparently, none of us knows what this place is. Maybe we could start by introducing ourselves to each other, and then might figure out what is going on. Hmm, very well then. Yoda, my name is. Grand Master of the Jedi Order, I am. My name is Ugwe, and I am the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. I am Iroh, the Dragon of the West, and the best tea maker east of the Fire Nation. I am Gandalf, Maiar of Manwe, Grey Pilgrim, and a member of the Order of Istari, or in the common tongue, simply a wizard. Take a butcher's at that. I'm Dumbledore, the headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Show me your wand. My wand? You know. That wooden stick you use for magic, like Expelliarmus. Okay, someone spanked by my lightsaber will be. I possess no wand. Only my loyal staff accompanies me. What is he compensating for with that? And speaking about your so-called spells, I refrain from labeling them as magic. And what would you call it then? Fireworks at best. Mate? I can genuinely shoot water and fire from my wand. Oh, so you're a firebender as well? A firebender? Yeah, look. Such formidable might I have observed solely in the Balrogs of the First Age. I will take that as compliment. 
That's quite interesting. Seems like we all possess some supernatural abilities. And what about you, Yoda? Do you have any supernatural abilities? Well, use the Force, I can. Force is never a solution to our problems, my friend. Not this kind of Force. A cosmic power created by all living things surrounds us, penetrates us, binds the galaxy together. Also, power to move things with our minds, it gives. Cool. So what about you, Ugwe? Hmm... Supernatural ability. Hmm... Ability that is not natural. Do I have any? Hmm... Don't linger, mate. I haven't got all day. Hmm... Does chi manipulation count? Given that my fire bending also comes from chi, I'd count it. Anything else in common? Well, all of us appear a bit long in the tooth. Sorry, what? He says you are old. Who are you calling old? I'm just 55 years young. I was more pointing to those two withered sticks in the corner. When 900 years you reach, look as good. You will not. I am 1,000 years old myself, Master Yoda. Don't worry. Bloody hell. What do you mean, a millennium? What dark sorcery is this? Oi, you Mad Hatter, how many years under your belt? It seems the courtesy of the hall you came from is somewhat lessened of late, Dumbledore. You deserve to be thrown through the door of night for such comments. To your question, it's hard to answer. Since my arrival in Middle-earth, over two thousand years have passed. However, from the singing of the first songs of Ainur, at least fifty millennia have passed. Fifty thousand years. Wow, you're in good shape for your age. You must have gathered much wisdom throughout the years. Indeed, I'm considered to be a wise person. Would you look at that? I'm also considered to be very wise. Me too, actually. Okay, so we are all old, wise, and have supernatural abilities. But does anyone know what is this place? I'm afraid I'm not wise enough for that. The only thing I know is that the fact we are all here is no accident. Maybe it's doing of the Dark Lord Sauron. Sauron? Hmm? Never heard of him. By any chance, Dark Lord of the Sith, Sauron isn't? The Sith Lord? If he is Lord of something, it would be Lord of the Rings. You're quivering in fright of a mere jeweler? Quite pitiful. Be silent, you fool. You don't know what Sauron is capable of. I dare say he wouldn't stand a chance against you-know-who. No, I don't. You know, he who must not be named. And he is telling me I'm the one who is slowing conversation down. Naturally, I'm referring to Lord Voldemort. Voldemort? Not a Dark Lord of the Sith, either? Not to my knowledge. Unless Siths are usually pale-skinned, with dark robes, obsessed with immortality, and shoot green lights that kill a lot of people. And what about you two, Iro and Ugwe? Do you have a Dark Lord in place you come from? Hmm, not exactly a Dark Lord. But there is a new super evil dude who wants to destroy the Valley of Peace, like twice a month. And calling it a Valley of Peace, you still do? Well, it wouldn't sound as good to name it the Valley of Constant Danger, wouldn't you say? We need to lure the tourists, you know. We are facing a very bad economic recession. And you, Iro? Well, I wouldn't say my brother is a Dark Lord, but I have to admit, he has some dark qualities in him. You're a brother to a Dark Lord? Again, I wouldn't call him that. More like tyrannical dictator. But if there's a family member, I would call a Dark Lord. It must be my niece, Azula. Azula? That sounds sexy. I guess she's really bad girl, huh? A bad girl? One time I saw Azula burn a chef alive just because he brought her soup that was too cold. Let's move on, please. What were you all doing before you ended up here? I was smoking long bottom leaves with Bilbo. Hobbits really have the best weed in Middle Earth, but it must have been some strong pipe. The last thing I remember is passing out. I was meditating. That's a coincidence. I was meditating too. Me too, actually. 
And you, Dumbledore? I was also meditating. Really? Fine. I got drunk as a butterbeer-soaked elf at the hopping pot. Are you happy now? I accidentally dared Hagrid to a drinking contest. There are no accidents. Yes, Ugwe. Twice you have stated that already. And that was no accident either. Thrice. But I think I have a theory. Apparently, all of us have entered meditative state. Perhaps it's possible that since all of us entered this state at the same time, our minds were strong enough to tear apart the fabric of the universe and met at this place. Hmm, plausible it sounds, but how do we leave? Well, I think we just need to stop meditating. So it's that easy? We just need to wake up? Apparently. This meeting was nevertheless very amusing. We should do this again sometime. Indeed. Sounds wonderful, it does. But what our viewers think? Like to see us team up again? If yes, give this video a like or subscribe to this channel where new videos like these every single week you can find. See you soon. And as always, for the Republic.